Hey guys, it's me, Mertex32, making an update video on my next game that I'm going to be Let's Playing. Um, it's been quite a while uh, since I made a video. It's mainly because of university that I've started now. Um, it's currently Christmas holidays for me, so I've got a little bit more time. And I should be revising for exam, but well, I'll be fine. Anyway, uh, the game I'm going to be Let's Playing, as you can probably see, is... Uh, Skylanders Spyro's Adventure, which is a game I've been very interested in for quite a long time, I've been following until its release. Um, but uh, what makes this an interesting game? Why why, why, why would I let's play this game? Well, well uh, I do have a reason. There's a good reason why I'm let's play this game, and it, and it goes back a long, long time. Ten years, it must be now. Um, there are certain game series which uh, I played from a very, very young age, which I really like to follow and keep track of and what should evolve as time goes on and some of those are like Tomb Raider or Crash Bandicoot but probably the most important one is Spyro the Dragon. When I first got a PlayStation 1 when I was about 8 years old I Spyro the Dragon 1 was one of the games I got as a child and that's actually why I less played Spyro the Dragon 1 was because it was like I wanted to see what I thought of it now compared to what I thought it was before and uh, yeah so having done Spyro the Dragon 1 we're going to zoom forward in future from the oldest to the newest and we can compare but since we're not going to be doing any of the Spyro Dragons in between I probably am not going to do Spyro 2 despite some people saying they wanted it I don't, it's such a similar game I don't think it's a good idea I like to do really contrasting games um, but I'm going to give you a quick rundown of like the games in between and what I thought of them and how it went down in history and because it's quite interesting the Spyro franchise actually um, as, as a lot of you probably know there was Spyro 1, 2 and 3 which is Spyro the Dragon Spyro the Dragon Gateway to Glimmer I think and then Spyro the Dragon Year of the Dragon Spyro 1, 2 and 3 all made by Insomniac, all on Playstation 1 all very successful, very highly acclaimed games um, and probably a lot of you have played a lot of them, you probably oh yeah, Sparrow's really good, and you probably either have a favourite of one, two, or three, um, and then you will be like, well, I, I, I don't, I didn't really buy a Sparrow again after that, and most people didn't, um, and there's a reason for that. Um, Insomniac, at the release of the PlayStation 2, um, decided to get rid of Spyro. I think there was numerous reasons they wanted to move forward as a company. I think they said something like Spyro just has no more direction to go in, he can't even hold a gun. Um, and they famously moved on to Ratchet and Clank, which is was an enormously popular franchise which did very, very well. Um, and so they sold the rights to Spyro Games to another company which I might annotate because I don't know what who they are, but they made Spyro the Dragon Enter the Dragonfly, which was on the PlayStation 2. And it was very similar to the games, but it had some other new game mechanics, but it didn't really go very far. And it wasn't very highly rated. I think it got about 60% in most reviewers. It, w it was, having completed it, it was all right, but it, you would, I don't think anyone would ever consider that to be their favorite, favorite Spyro game. Again, after that came uh, Spyro Dragon Hero's Tale. I don't know whether the same company made it. Again, I'll probably put this in annotations. I probably should have prepared better for this, but oh well. Uh, yeah, so that was the fifth Spyro game, Spyro Dragon Hero's Tale. Again, I completed it. I quite liked Hero's Tale, but a lot of people really didn't. Um, again, it got about I think 50, 60 percent reviews. It, it wasn't exactly groundbreaking. Um, didn't do a lot of new stuff, and it's sort of Spyro sort of finished. Spyro the Dragon definitely finished there. Um, it had a very good start. Consulted another company, didn't do very well, and so it stopped. That's that's what happened. Um, however. Then, something very strange happened to the Spyro series. Another game company, which again, I actually don't know the name of. I really should though, but I don't. Bought the license, I assume bought. I don't know how else you'd obtain it, but... Uh, the right to use Spyro in their games, and they rebooted. I.e., they ignored the existence of all the Spyro games previous and just started new. And instead of calling it Spyro the Dragon, they called it the Legend of Spyro. 
and they went on to create the trilogy, The Legend of Spyro, which is a very interesting series, in my opinion. Um, it starts off with uh, a new beginning, quite a important name, and it and it's very very plot driven, and took out quite a few platform elements. What didn't have as many collectible things, things like gems, weren't as, weren't as important in the game. Uh, it had a really great soundtrack. I think that the, sp the original Spyro games really lacked in soundtrack. I think the first Spyro game had quite a good soundtrack, but the ones after that, nah, they, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't going to win any awards, in my opinion. But I think that these ones were extremely well scored, um, and s I think that people, a lot of people, ignore that. Um, I'm quite a music freak, so I quite enjoy that. Maybe I'll put some background music in this from Spyro the New Beginning right now. But basically, the idea is that it completely changed, introduced new characters and new plot, and then they went on after a new beginning into making Spider Dragon Eternal Night which continued the story and had an absolutely amazing ending theme called Broken Soul which I may or may not be playing right now depending on how good at editing I feel um, really really good I mean like I really didn't like a new beginning when I first played I was like oh my god this is nothing like Spyro oh my god the combo system's so bad and oh it's horrible and in Eternal Night I was still like, oh, this isn't, I'm not really feeling it, but... And then, finally, last in the trilogy is, um... Year, uh, Dawn of the Dragon. Which, uh... At this point, Spyro is quite old. In fact, old enough to be able to fly at any time, anywhere. Which everyone says all the time about Spyro games. Why can't Spyro just fly everywhere? Why do we have to jump and glide? Well, you can fly anywhere in this game, if you're interested. Um, but it's also really, really good. It really ties up the the plot really well. And it has an amazing theme, and theme theme, called the Guide You Home. Um, again, may or may not be playing right now. Um, like, really great. And I, when, I, when I finished that game, I was like, oh my god. This is such a gem of gaming that people have just ignored. Like... The developers have put so much effort into this game, and then everyone's just gone, Oh, it's nothing like the original Spyro's, it's so bad. And it really, I think it really didn't very do very well in reviews, probably about 60%. But I really thought it was a really great series, and a lot of people around the community, people are diehard fans for this series, and I think that it definitely deserves more recognition than what it got. So if you've got some time, I think you should definitely go play the trilogy of Legend of Spyro. If you quite like more plot driven games, if you kind of ignore the gameplay, it's not very good. It's alright. But yeah, if you quite like. Yeah, you should check it out. It's definitely worth a look. Um, anyway, so the Dawn of the Dragon was. I don't know now. 2008? 2007? Quite a while ago now. And um, that was it. That was the end of the trilogy for them. And everyone was like. So, is it really the end for Spyro? And you know what? I was really worried that it was going to be at the end of Spyro. Um, and I didn't hear anything for years and years and years. And then suddenly this this game started, rumours started appearing about this game that's going to be released. And more and more information came out about it. And then it turned out there's going to be this game called Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. And the first thing that struck me was, why is it called Skylanders? What the hell is Skylanders? And then Spyro's Adventure just tacked on. Anyway, looking into it, I do know the developer for this game, which is Toys for Bob. I know, very infamously impressive uh, credentials, Toys for Bob. May uh, they've they've made quite a few games and not any particularly impressive ones. So um, a lot of people didn't have high hopes for this game. I didn't, um, but I think a lot of people were with me in the fact they didn't have very high hopes. Um, so, anyway, but I definitely wanted to check out this game no matter what, because it's a Spyro game and I buy all the Spyro games, so raw. Um, anyway, the thing which stood this out was the fact that it has, there's a thing in it called a Portal of Power, which is a physical thing you get when you buy the game. It's USB connected to your console PC, I'm playing on PC by the way. Um, I'll throw a picture of it, if I, I hope, hopefully, in post. And you can see it, and basically you put characters on it, 
and then you play as that. That's how instead of just having a menu, oh, I'm just going to pick to play as this character right now. Um, then you you literally physically put the model on the portal power in real life to change your character. That's the idea. And when you buy the game, you start off with three characters, but you can buy like booster packs where you get more and more characters. Sounds pretty lame, cheesy, uh, and uh, well, we'll see, won't we? I, uh, you get three with the game. I probably won't be buying any booster packs unless I'm amazed at this game. Um, you get Spyro, by the way. That's probably worth noting with the game, and you get two other. Skylanders um, with it. Uh, can't remember what they're called, but they look alright. They look quite a good character design on them. Um, and so that's all I know about the game actually. Um, that that happens. The only other thing I know about the game is that it's actually very highly rated. When this game came out, I was like, okay, let's check out the ratings, and they were about 80%, and I was very impressed. It's like, hat what? This game is getting 80%, but it's like, what? Okay, so, having I bought the game and not played it yet, expecting awfulness, but the reviews are very good. What is this game exactly? Is it going to be anything like the old Spyro games? Is it going to be any good? I don't know, I don't know. Well, I suppose you'll find out with me when I start episode one of my woe. Did that just cut out? That might have just cut out. I might have just accidentally stopped it. I don't know whether it cut out or not, but if it did, I'll just say that again. You'll find out whether or not this game will be good when I start my Let's Play of Skylanders Spyro's Adventure Episode 1. Coming soon! At some point, hopefully. We'll see. Okay then. I'll see you soon for that. Ciao for now.